I would say that, you know, so inspiring leaders understand that fear is going to come and that as a human being, we all experience fear at one point of our life. And I still experience it. But when you experience fear, I want you to study it, become friends with it, organize around it, walk with the fear. And that on the other side of fear is something beautiful that you deserve to experience and have. And that your talents and your strengths will always outweigh your weaknesses and they will make room for you. And that with fear, understanding that your purpose is bigger than your fear and definitely leading with that. And that if we allow fear to get to us, it can become a crutch and an obstacle from stopping us to achieve our goals and experience and joy. And when I reflect on my life of being black and being queer and having fear about living my life the way I live it now, and sometimes I still have a little fear, but I, I'm thankful that I was able to push through it because I've been able to help a lot of people. And that, you know, there have been a lot of proud black queer men who came before me, who have made it easier for me. And so my goal is to do this work, close these racial wealth gaps, create spaces for black queer folks that were that young black gay little boy growing up who has a level of insecurity and uncertainty that it's gonna be better for him as he continues to grow and continues to find his liberation. So I would just tell inspiring leaders, no matter who you are, what intersection you're at, that don't allow fear to become a crutch, but, but use it, study it, embrace it, and get to what um, the most high has for you.